Crawford? Here. Darcy? Here. Goddard? Here. Graff? Here. Hall? Harris? Howard? Hubby? Here. Emig? Here. Josting? Here. Longfellow? Here. Mental? Here. Minton? Here. Frail? Here. Rich Simpson? Roberts? Scortino? Here. Sin? Here. Chairman Zimmerman? Mr. Clerk, uh, I think you're muted. Maybe those guys, uh, I think the Howder's on, a few others are on, maybe. Oh. Okay, try to get to the <laughs> can, you, can you hear us online now? I can't hear you. Okay, correct. Right. So let's try a few, to go back again. Hall, Harris, Howard, here. Rich Simpson, here. Roberts. We have a quorum. We have a quorum. We'll do business. If we could rise to the indication of pledge, please. Heavenly Father, what a privilege it is to come into your presence and to uh, be able to deliberate these issues uh, in a way that honors you. Thank you for the privilege of serving the citizens of Tazewell County. Uh, thank you for uh, the freedoms that you have given us. And thank you for the citizens of this county that they care. And we want to do what's best uh, with the money that they've entrusted to us. I lift up member... Uh, Crawford's mother tonight as she recovers from surgery. Uh, you're the great physician, and I pray that you give the physicians uh, dealing with Russ's mom the wisdom on how to uh, continue treatment. Thank you for the rain that you blessed us with. I pray for safety for our farmers as they uh, continue planting the crops for this year. Thank you for uh, our heroes, our uh, first responders, uh, for those in the hospitals, uh, for our deputy sheriffs. Thank you for uh, those in the armed forces too, Father. I pray that you keep them all safe. We know that as we deliberate these issues, we want to do it in a way that uh, honors you. And we know that you're a sovereign God and we love you. And we pray all these things in your name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, I did not receive any communications from members of the public. Uh, I would like to point out that Mike Henrickson, a former Woodford County board member over there, and then Eric Miller from Tri-County Regional Planning, two, uh, two outstanding individuals. So if you get an opportunity to go over and say hi to them, I'd encourage you to do that. So, uh, Communications from elected and appointed officials. Nancy? Thank you. Um, it sort of fits right in with our visitors tonight. And I, I did uh, set, ask Sue to send you a copy of an article, a reprint of an article that the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers uh, put out recently. <coughs> and it has its title, Managing Illinois Waterway Dredge Material in 40 Pound Bags. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> the essence of the story is that that is dirt from Peoria Lake that has been dredged, processed, and mixed, and is bagged and I think it's called Good Earth. And I've been told that it's available at Home Depot. So that's Peoria Dirt at work. And I, it's a good story, and I, I, I'm so tickled because it seems to be about 25 years ago when I went to Tri-County, we started working on this kind of thing and hearing about it, and finally now maybe we're actually doing something with it. I think Peoria County is using a lot of the, the dredging as well and mixing it. So just a positive note on things that are happening out there in the real world. Thank you. Thanks, Nancy, for sending that article on. Any other comments? So you got there, Yeah, Joe Roberts. Yeah, Joe. I might, I might have missed the roll call, but I'm here. Okay, great. Thank you. Thanks, Joe. All right. With that, I can get a motion to approve the meeting, meeting minutes for March 31st. Motion by Mitt and second by Darcy. Uh, any changes, deletions? All those in favor, signify by aye. Aye. Those opposed? Aye. We do have two in-place committee meetings tonight. The first is land use. Chairman Joe Stinson. Okay, thank you. Uh, I was 
Sue, can you take roll call, please? Chairman Justin. Here. Connett. Here. Altheater. Here. Crocker. Here. Goddard. Here. Paul. Kinnick. Here. Roberts. Here. You have a quorum. Okay. Thank you. Uh, before us, we have a land use 2104. Uh, can we get a motion to? this land use. So moved, Mr. Chairman. Motion by Zim, uh, Crawford. Second by Goddard. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? about some things that are in process. More will be coming forward in a, um, in a concrete fashion coming up, but the, the chairman, the board chairman, Wendy and I just wanted to update you that we are looking at <coughs> and um, how the new minimum wage laws that are being in, um, implemented in Illinois state law, and we've already gone through one year of an increase, but for the next several years, we're going to have to continue to roll out these new minimum wage increases. And so we are looking to talk to and get the help of um, Corn Ferry, which is a firm that the uh, that Tesla County has used for several years already to do different things like salary grading, looking at our job descriptions, helping us determine um, salary ranges and maybe grade specific jobs within a range to determine, you know, help us make some decisions in a HR capacity. So this firm is a firm that we continue to use today for a variety of things. It's hard talking and they're all <laughs> So it feels weird. But um, anyway, so this company, we're going to be reaching out to them and hopefully we'll have a solid proposal back from them for the board meeting in May um, that will help us 
to know kind of what they could propose to do to help us to roll out the minimum wage increase and how that will affect our um, salary ranges, uh, our salary schedule, and just kind of work through those issues. This is something that we will bring to the board to discuss and to actually vote on whether the board feels like this is something that we would want to spend money on. And uh, so I don't have any particulars of that, and that will be coming. But just wanted to make you aware of where we're headed and where we're looking to get some guidance as we proceed forward with this. And um, this will be discussed, hopefully, if we have all if we have information back. This will be discussed at the May HR meeting, and I just encourage anybody who really wants to learn more about it, have some input, certainly come to that meeting. You're clearly welcome to call me and talk to me about it. Wendy, obviously, is all knows way more about it than I do, and so um, we would be happy to talk to anybody and work through this. So just wanted to kind of let you know what's coming and where we're headed and look forward to more information. Down the road. That's it. So um, I guess we are in recess. Thank you. Thanks, Wendy. Brings us down to the consent agenda. Item one will automatically be pulled, and I think item twelve will be pulled. Anything else? If not, can we get a motion for the remainder? Motion by Graf, second by Crawford. All those in favor, signify by aye. 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 Those opposed. Aye. Uh, can I get a motion for the appointments A through D? Motion by Crail, second by Josting. Um, any questions? All those in favor signify by aye. 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 Those opposed? Okay, back to um, the land use item 1, LU 2104. Can I get a motion to get this on the floor? Motion by Imic, second by Hovey. Uh, this just came out of committee. Are there any questions anyone has? All those in favor signify by aye. Aye. Those opposed? Aye. Thank you. Um, item 12, E2195, can we get a motion to get this on the floor? Motion by Ami, second by Crawford. Um, Greg, I think you pulled this. Any comments you want to make? <coughs> this is the one about the pool as MPO being dissolved in, in the MPO going in the tri county. Um, I guess I will be voting no on this because I feel Tri County has a broader uh, scope than the municipal people that are required to be on the MPO, which is the PUAS, which what this motion is to be switched over to uh, Tri County. Um, Nancy sent an email, the, the copy of the water, you know, waterways, recreation, environment, cleanup, the dirt. They sent a uh, thing of public participation plan, water supply, Asian carp, all very good regional ideas. But the makeup they're asking for is a, is a, a state required uh, MPO, which requires uh, a very urban uh, vote, a very uh, I mean, we're giving the vote to the vote. City Link will be voting on regional planning. Uh, uh, the District 4 person who represents IDOT will be voting our district, our, our whole regional planning. Uh, a lot of times mayors don't show up for these things. I know Russell's trying to come up with something, but a lot of times our city public works guy will show up for the mayors. They will be voting on the regional things. I don't think that, I think uh, maybe Tri County was probably a bit too large and they were having problems with corn. I would suggest they would downsize Tri County, address these great regional uh, projects, and let the specific uh, state mandated people vote on the regional, on urban, urban, urban. I mean, that's, that's you know, you people ask why, why just these things, because they all touch each other. They, Qualify and they all get a seat on this. They would be making the votes on our regional stuff, and I think it'd be best, more wisely used to keep Tri County as it is. Um, is a redundancy for a few people? Hey, we all sit through meetings. It's our job. Um, but you know, I, I, this is one of those things where two plus two equals three. 
If it's two plus two plus five, I say the great, but this, I think we're going backwards with this, especially some of these great regional plans. We won't have regional, uh, the proper people representing so I'll be voting on this. Anyone else? Comments, questions? Russ? Uh, uh, those, there's about 10 members are on executive. So you probably heard more than you wanted to because we talked about it for what seemed like two hours. I think it was about 30 minutes, but it seemed like two hours. Um, I, Greg and I have represented the Tazewell County on the merger committee. It's, uh, three from, two from Tazewell, two from Woodford, two from Peoria. Uh, Mike's represented uh, uh, Woodford County on, on it. Uh, and then there's three others. So we got a majority, or at least half, right here tonight. Um, I want to address a few things that I didn't make clear in exec, and then there were also a few questions that were asked. Um, one was set us the bylaws, and I had that done. Um, Deb Ulrich from tri County Regional Planning Commission has put that in your end basket. Um, another one was um, by Bill, my friend Bill, who asked, uh, was there any, uh, uh, in the 1958 enactment resolution, the original one, was there any language that, uh, to modify the organization or the document? And the answer is no, there wasn't. Um, and I would argue that going from 1958 through now is, uh, a, a, a testament, it's like the Constitution, it's a testament that the thing worked. It was a pretty good, pretty good document. The truth is, though, that that's just an enactment, and the bylaws is what really runs our thing. Another thing that came up from my friend Nick, which was an amendment for five years to review, um, and I'm, I'm, I hope you don't do that for two reasons. One reason is that any change we make here in Tazewell County uh, that Peoria and Woodford County don't make, it doesn't stop this thing from happening. What it does is stops Tazewell County from participating. So Woodford County and Peoria County go ahead and pass the resolution and be part of the new group. We just wouldn't be part of the new group. And there's literally millions and millions of dollars of transportation dollars and other uh, uh, I guess you call them mission issues like the river uh, that Greg referenced that would be that would and could be lost. So uh, I, I hope you don't make amendments. If we were going to do that, we would have. I wish you would have mentioned it to either Mr. Mendel or myself, and we would have tried to get those to the merger committee, and then the document would have come to you like that. Uh, but to do it now, it's it. It jeopardizes the success. But there's a better reason than that to not go with an amendment. And that is because, and I owe it to Nick, who challenged me to go do some research. But when I looked into the bylaws, you probably saw it yourself, that there's a section in there, that, uh, two things. One is there's a section that calls for an automatic 10 year review. So that's already part of it. It's not five, it's 10, but uh, all of the three counties will be passing that. Uh, in fact, we adopted the bylaws. So they have passed it. They passed it last Thursday, was it? Last Thursday. So they've all passed that already. And so that's a good thing because they'll be that automatic review that, that Mr. Graff was concerned about. Um, but the other thing is we don't have to wait, just so you know, th those of you who are on, or on who ads maybe don't know this, but those of you who are on the commission know this especially if you're on the executive committee of the commission, as our chairman and several of you have been. You don't have to, if there's an error or, or some omission or there's some deficiency, some problem of any kind, the executive committee has the authority to fix it or if you want to get broad uh, uh, basis of support, you, you not only make a, you make a recommendation to the overall commission and then they fix it. So we don't even have to wait five years. We don't have to wait five weeks to fix a problem. We, we have the authority to go ahead and take care of that. Do we run back to the counties each time and say, oh gee, we want to fix this little thing? 
and fill up your agendas. Uh, no, we don't do that. The reason, the only reason this is on your agenda tonight is because we conservatively felt like since the Tazewell County Board and the other boards passed the enactment in 1958 and the dynamic is a little different, we owed it, we, we, we wanted to be cautious and conservative and come back and ask your permission to change the enactment. And that's the only other thing. The only other thing I wanted to mention uh, is on this urban versus rural thing, which seems to be, uh, from everything I hear, my friend Mr. Sin's overall concern. Uh, he mentioned it to me. Um, you got to remember that the commission, the, 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 the MPO, by its very nature, by its structure, because of law, really focuses on municipalities and villages uh, and the transportation planning. So yeah, it's going to be more urban, if you want to call it that. We have some real, Germantown Hills is not what you call a real massive uh, incorporated city, but but it's, uh, it is a city, it is a village. And so, um, and then there's the biggest one, which is Peoria, Illinois. So I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't debate the fact that the MPO sort of leans towards municipalities. By, by its nature and design, it does that. But the commission sort of leads towards the counties. And so one of the things that I was concerned about, and really I owe it to Greg, because in a phone call that we had, which is about a half hour, uh, a couple of weeks ago, he pointed out to me this concern. And so at the next merger meeting, I brought up the fact that, and I'm almost done, Mr. Chairman, thank you for your indulgence. Um, he brought up, the, or yeah, in that conversation, he brought up that urban rural thing again. And so what I did was I asked the merger committee to approve a change in the executive committee which has equal, or you don't, if you read the bylaws, it's greater power than actually the overall group. And they moved that from one from each county to two from each county. So the total number of people on executive is going to be eight, and 75% of that, six out of the eight, are going to be the appointments that the three, Andrew Rand, Dave Zimmerman, and John Krug make as board chairman. So that's a lot of uh, sort of pro-county to sort of balance the pro-urban. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Nick? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, my whole concern from the executive meeting last week was that we not go another 60 years without reviewing this. Um, and I take exception to Mr. Crawford's statement that um, we were wrong, or we were wrong for asking about this because I think that's our job as county board members, specifically members of the executive committee. And had I known about the 10-year uh, provision in the agreement, which would have been nice to know with the executive, I wouldn't have spent about an hour of my time and Mr. Holly's time this past week researching this, writing a proposed resolution to address this. So I don't like being chastised about us not knowing what's going on because that's our job is to ask what we don't know what's going on. I have no other comments, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. All right, Greg, and then Bill. Uh, as uh, Russ stated, I've been on this uh, merger committee from the beginning, and uh, I don't like change, but I have a motto that, that I go by in my working career and, and and not only that but it's is there a better way of doing it and because we have been doing this for 50 years or whatever it was uh, i mean what what do we do today that's the same as 50 years ago it is time to improve on what we're doing and I, I understand Mr. Sin's concerns, but the chairman, uh, the county chairman actually have control on whether the representatives are urban or rural or whatever. So just uh, even now, so it doesn't guarantee that we're gonna have rural representation. 
the way that way we are now. So I mean, um, I think I think this this is going to be more efficient. It's going to save money, not a lot of money, but it's going to and it's the right. I think it's the right thing to do. We have went through every bit of bylaws we've discussed all kinds of scenarios how this could be you know what this change how it could negative reflect uh things and 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 uh, i believe we have a good uh, plan here and i i hope uh, we can all support this thank you bill and then Brandon. Um, I came prepared to make a number of comments, but uh, actually Russ made all the comments that I was going to make and more. So I just wanted to uh, state that I agree with pretty much everything that Russ had to say with regards to um, the bylaws and, and <clears throat> excuse me, the enacting document. Uh, basically his statements about what I think this might do for the future. Um, I, I hope that he's right about that, and um, I do think that the uh, rural versus urban split, that there is a valid concern there, and I don't know whether this will, will really take care of that, but I do think that this is an attempt uh, in its most current form to try to address all those interests, and so I am intending to vote for this. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So, first off, I want to echo everything Russ said. I want to echo everything that Craig said, and I want to echo everything what Nick and Bill said. Um, I am in strong support of this merger. Uh, I'm very new to this board. This is just my first term, but I can tell you that in all my dealings with Tri-County and Puwats, I've encountered nothing but top flight people who care about our region. We need to think about this as a region instead of urban versus rural. We all count on each other. We all work together. And when we isolate rural and urban, we create major problems. And I can say strongly that at the beginning of this, I was gung-ho. Then I started having second thoughts. And then I looked at the way the bylaws were written, and I can tell you that it's all about a region focus, not an urban focus, not a rural focus, but a region focus. Again, I support this merger. I am behind it. Now, Member Graff, his amendment, I support that as well. Let's try it before we buy. Now, sometimes people might have a prenup written before they get married. This is kind of like a prenup. So again, I'm pragmatic here. I do support the merger, but at the same time, let's try before we buy if we want to go about it that way. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Right. Any other comments or questions? Tony? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I was at the exact meeting. I don't normally go to that, but we had a meeting afterwards, and it was a very lengthy discussion. And there was very good points brought up on both sides. Greg brought up very good points. Nick brought up points, and like you said, there was the tenure. But I would feel comfortable if there was some kind of stipulation, if Nick would have made a motion five years, if the tenure is that and everyone else feels comfortable with it. Otherwise, I wouldn't support it if we don't have anything that is a check and balance. Thank you. All right. Any other comments or questions? Russ? This makes the second time I've forgotten to make this point. I forgot it at exec, and I told myself, don't forget it tonight, and I forgot it again, so I apologize. i got to speak the last time to this. But this is particularly to Nick as finance chairman, and uh, all those people uh, who care and love all of Tazewell County budget but have a special affinity for the county general fund because the county general fund is the one that I always defended the most when I was the chief fiscal officer of this county because it was jeopardized the most. It has the toughest time to carry over 
uh, based on revenue from uh, before the uh, first cycle of tax bills. So, uh, and what I forgot to mention is this, that there are, there's $42,000 that used to be sucked out of Tazewell, Woodford, and Peoria counties, about 16 from Peoria, about 14, five from Tazewell, and about 11, two from Woodford, if my memory's correct, and it's close. Um, of the county general fund, that's where that money was always budgeted, that will, not one cent of that will go from Tazewell County Treasury over to Tri-County, that we're gonna stick to the revenue, and we did this with, a, I think, a unanimous vote in the merger committee um, for for everyone. Now, the, the cities didn't have that extra fee they had to pay, they just had the old Puets fee, and that Puets fee stays the same, but we had an additional fee as a county, and so did the other two of the money I just talked about from the general fund, and not a penny of that's gonna leave. So, that I know it's only, uh, uh, what did I say about, 14, five, something like that, but every penny, if you remember, it was finance sessions, Nick, and and uh, and Tim remembers, even though he's not here, and, and Wendy certainly knows, we were looking for every penny we could use to reduce the red and maximize the, the black. So I just want to also encourage you that this is a cost saving, it's a people saving, it's a, it's a leaning and a reduction of what, without reducing any services. So it's a pretty good deal. Greg? <clears throat> just some clarifications. Uh, I never once said rural. Russ put those words in, but uh, heard rural for me. I meant region. It's region, region, region. The Tri County, Puax is urban, urban, urban. So I agree with region. The city in and the outside where this is it's just a very, very direct group and stuff like that. I, I guess they probably checked it out with all their looking and stuff like that. I guess I question using specific transportation dollars and leveraging that in for non-transportation things. I know administratively that can work and stuff type of thing, but I don't know how uh, that works as far as uh, I mean, these things you can only spend on certain things, how they're gonna use transport, those trains to do all these other things. I'm kind of a little concerned about the legality of that. So thank you. All right, any other questions or comments? If not, all those in favor signify by aye. Aye. Those opposed? Aye. Those opposed? Aye. Aye. Raise your hand. Two, three. Okay, so noted. Three. 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 Motion passes. Uh, any unfinished business? Any new business? All right, the bill's been sent out. Uh, can I get a motion to approve the uh, May calendar? Motion by Mitten, second by Frail. Any changes? All those in favor signify by aye. aye. Those opposed? We are adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.